Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For any first time viewers, I'm Jesse Rebirth, and today we're diving right into this Black Skull figure from uh, Virtual Toys. Now, this is Black Mask. I'm sure it leans heavily on the look of him from Birds of Prey. Thing is, is I never watched Birds of Prey because, you know, it was woke garbage. Basically, they were saying that the movie was going to kill uh mis male misogyny and it was this and that and it's not for guys and then when men didn't go watch the movie they blamed it on men for the movie failing so the thing is though is i think black mask is a super dope batman enemy uh i think he's a really cool guy i like him i like his look i like everything about him i really dig the arkham look they did in arkham origins which i kind of feel like this has that too but we'll have to dive into it and take a look at it. Uh, the box actually looks really cool. Our box looks like it's black marble. And you can kind of see him in the, the um, you know, he's just kind of there. It's like a faint image of him. Then you can see on the side it says Black Skull. That's for uh, legal purposes. This slides up. And we got a window, but, you know, the reflections kind of hurt it. So let's go ahead and let's dive in here and take a look at it. Now, uh, there was a week where Karen and I did not post anything. Depending on when I get this out, that was last week uh, and the week before. That was because we were in Florida. Uh, we know better than to announce where we are because uh, everyone knows you never tell people on the Internet if you're home or not. But we are back now, and we are catching up on our orders. We're doing everything right now as it is. Wow, this guy has three levels. I dig this gold. It's kind of ritzy. It's kind of, uh, kind of cool. Now, Black Mask has been many different things over the years, and I was actually just reading this New 52 uh it was Batman Detective Comics, and this was a Tony Daniels run on things. And Black Mask's mask actually has powers where he can get into your mind with it. And he's kind of haunted by the mask himself. And there was uh, the, the No Face Society, where they all wore masks and everything. But let's go ahead and take a look in here. I, I really got to say, this is like really nice packaging. Usually custom toys, third-party toys, just come in a, a foam packaging. I'm having a problem getting this out. There we go. But this is all formed and fitted and everything under the sun. Now, we got a base. It's a bit of a bummer it says Black Skull on it, but I mean, as collectors, we all know what that actually means. You get a little stand that goes right into it, nothing on the bottom. Now check this out. Nothing when it comes out here. So we got our holsters, our shoulder holsters. Very cool. arm sleeve we got pistols we got ourselves an assault rifle very cool a little hook hangs on there the magazine fell right out it's got a little bullet in there I mean this is pretty cool already wish that stayed in there better all right, we got these little plastic explosives. There we go, our bat fell out. Wow, this is, this is a metal bat. This little thing is actually, I don't know. I'll have to hit it on, oh, there you go. It's metal, that's cool. And we have a little watch. see all these little details on everything right there. 
So check that out. We got a pair of eyes. Another pair of eyes. We got all kinds of hands here. Open hands. Trigger hands. Another kind of maybe, you know, a little looser. A relaxed hand. I mean, this toy is just sweet already. Kind of closed hands. This would go good with the bat. Uh, extra pegs. Now, if I was, if I think back on it, I think in Arkham Origins he actually had pinstripes. But don't quote me on that. I don't. It's been a little while since we played that. Now, that is a pretty cool head. I dig it. I like it. You can see back here, the back of it. Oh, look at that. It's magnetic. Pills right open so we can change our eyes. Oh, wow, and look at that. They come out really nicely. There we go. Oh, so cool. So these are our eyes where we got no makeup on. So you see them there. Then maybe that's like a birds of prey thing. I always picture them with the makeup on. We got those ones. You know, I think the thing is, is in Arkham Origins and his little thing in Arkham Knight, I think he actually, the mask had extra parts around his eye, if I remember correctly. Because I know we got a 3D file from a Do 3D of his helmet from, I think they were saying it was Arkham Knight, but I believe his little add-on in Arkham Knight is the same stuff from Arkham Origins. Maybe a little different, because I know they're made by two different companies, Rocksteady and uh, uh, Warner Brother Montreal. I could see how there might be kind of a, a pride issue there, but I don't know, who knows. So, I gotta say, his suit, nice suit. I dig it, it's very stiff, wow. This is all textured up in there. It's a actual little design all over it. I don't know if the camera's catching that. In the right light, you can really see it. Uh, wow, everything about this toy is very ritzy. Look at these like, little boot things. I've actually had a pair of these before. Wow, this guy, he is very cool. He, he looks a little bulky in the shoulders, but I think over time, you can get that to kind of subside. But, I mean, look at him. And then we get these extra. So I really like when they give you extra wrist joints because sometimes these things get stuck in certain hands and you have a real hard time getting them out and you end up breaking them and you can see here he's got these really long joints it's like a tooth almost or the play button on a vcr if you watch seinfeld now let's see here this toy is sweet let's go ahead and put him up on his stand But, wow, this guy is pretty cool. Now the thing is, is I think we would really benefit with this toy, taking off his coat and putting these on him, which I feel like you would wear them, for the toy I feel like you would wear them over the vest. And then this, explosives are pretty sweet I mean with these little wires and everything I mean this is one hell of a a third-party toy seeing how no one else is gonna touch this so check it out we got 
Our eyes looking straight forward. And those are the ones with makeup. Look how cool it looks without anything. Mm -hmm. That's cool. We got our eyes looking sideways. I think those ones are almost even cooler. <laughs> you know, I feel like the mask in the movie though was more uh, polygon style. So I'm not really sure. It might just be like a, a inspired by who knows one thing i will say is is it's really cool that these third party companies we've seen a two-face and he's gonna have two heads he's got one that's gonna have a green wrecked side of his face and one that has like a pinkish purple wrecked side of his face so i mean we're starting to get these extra batman villains that we all really want and the thing is we don't care if it's from a movie or not we we just want these these characters oh he is cool he is very cool this bat is a really nice touch so let's go ahead and take his coat off his coat's so nice and padded too and it's so like so white it's like to the point where it's like pearl it's like shiny very nice looking his little buttons on the back. I dig his little, his little uh, what do they call those, handkerchiefs. Makes me think of that episode of uh, American Dad. That's what you'd call it. So, let's go ahead and put this on him. Pocket. I can't remember, but I remember Stan's trying to get really close to his boss and uh, Haley's. It's when, you know, Avery's showing up to Roger's bar in the attic and Haley's uh, taking all the information out of uh, Avery. So. Oh, there we go. I mean, his gloved hands look really cool, too. You know, I once seen can't think of who it was off the top of my head but there's a digital artist who uh made a really detailed roman and i think it was birds of prey he had like uh whatever insignias he had on his gloves from the movie and it was such a cool sculpt it was so so awesome there was also another guy who i seen who had made a uh, a really nice black mask to match all the arkham prime ones I don't know who ever ended up producing that though. I do wish that magazine stayed in there better. So I will say, this gun is very detailed, but it seems to not be of the best practical quality. But check out the back of him. He looks so cool. That was a little flatter. It's kind of like that one side. Let's see what's going on under there. I think if I was using this, I don't know. I definitely will be using the bat. Oh, there we go. It was just the way his arm was. Look at how the gun hangs. It's very, very nice. You gotta be very careful with some of this tiny little stuff. I don't know if you can see it now. Sometimes you just can't catch these things with the camera, but you see the little details. His vest is so detailed. It's awesome. Very cool. Where this stands, I think this toy is absolutely excellent. He is gorgeous. I mean, just look at him from all angles. His base is solid. It's a, uh, it's, you know, it's creative. It's not just a plain base. Our toy is really cool. I think the fact that this is just a magnet, two magnets on each side and that the eyes can come out so easily. You know, it'd be really cool 
is to have a Roman head. And you would have his mask. Like, how cool is that? That's way cool. Uh, I dig that we have all three sets of these eyes. I think that's a really... Uh, that's like a big league idea. This is what they were doing with, you know, the Dark Knight. No, I think this was a BVS Batman thing because our Dark Knight Batman had the parallel eye rolling system. But uh, the Ben Affleck Batmans have basically had this same treatment. And you know, I, I got to admit, I do kind of dig the the face with no makeup i think that's a birds of prey thing but oh geez i put that in upside down but i could be very wrong so this is his original face that was on him and i do think that actually looks pretty cool yeah. for this figure i think it's different I like it. Uh, we've had multiple versions of Black Mask over the years. We've had ones where the mask was basically melted to his head. Like I was telling you, his mask has had powers at times. We have, you know, Black Mask where all he does is wear the mask. But I think Roman is a very cool character that uh, he deserves more attention than he gets. But... This one, six toy, is absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead, let's get him into some poses. All right, guys, while posing him and having a little fun with him, Karen and I wanted to see what we thought it looked most like. I got to tell you, it's been a long time since Arkham Origins released, and we played it probably about a year and some time ago. Haven't seen Birds of Prey, like I said. Now, I think really the only thing, you know, maybe the watch, whatever, but these eyes without the makeup are kind of like a Birds of Prey thing. But, you know, like I said earlier, in the Arkham games, his suit was pinstriped. And he does have an all-white suit in the promotion photos from Birds of Prey. But this, the, the mask feels like it's, you know, an original design. But this heavily leans on Arkham Origins, like I was saying. And, you know, I was wrong saying it early. I don't know if this is in the movie or not, but this is actually in the trailer of Arkham Origins. Because I told Karen, I said, you remember that trailer of Arkham Origins where we see Black Mask? Which, spoiler if you don't know now, but when playing Arkham Origins, we find out that the Black Mask you think is Black Mask is actually Joker dressed as Black Mask, but uh, Roman is still around in the universe. Uh, I believe he was actually kidnapped uh, you do the detective vision and all that whatever uh but yeah i think this is kind of like you know a unique take on him it well not unique but it's like their own take on him it's best of both worlds we got this really beautifully designed suit we got things that direct you to both you know birds of prey the no eye makeup and uh arkham origins with the eye makeup 
So I would say it's more like an Arkham Origins black mask than it is a, a, Birds, of, a Birds of Prey black mask. But from me, this toy gets a 10 out of 10. I think it's absolutely awesome. I think everything about him. I mean, they'd even have to go as far as to add a metal bat to add the, the you know, shoulder holsters and all this other stuff, but they did. And I believe he was only about 180, I think. I don't remember because it's been quite a while since I pre-ordered him. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I freaked out when they were releasing him. I was waiting in a Taco Star's line to get Karen and I carne asada fries. And that's when I seen him up on 1-6 Outfitters, I believe. But uh, the line is always huge at like 1 to 2 a.m. And that's when we're up usually. And just started looking, found him, boom, pre-ordered him immediately. But uh, yeah, I think this toy is absolutely awesome. I absolutely love them. I'd like to tell you all, thank you all for all the support you show me. I am getting to the comments. I work my way from the oldest one I have that I haven't answered all the way forward. I am working through it. I'm only one month behind, but you guys have left me a lot of comments and I am thankful for every single one of them. I enjoy the conversations we have. Thank you for all the sharing uh, our Venom video. It's gotten a lot of views. It's been really exciting. Try to make this one get some views, guys. This toy needs to be seen. Collectors out there, you collect Batman toys, you got to get this toy. He's absolutely fantastic. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in. Share this. Let people know about this. But most of all, guys, I love you. Keep buying toys. <laughs>